Okay, so this is how to make a bootable USB drive. Uh, the first thing step is to put your USB drive in your computer right here. So I have it right here on my desktop. There's an instruction guide on Tony Mac's website, which you can go and I'll leave a link down in the description of that. And you can follow the instruction guide if you kind of want to go through this slower, then you can go ahead and follow this tutorial online here and I'll just show you each step individually. It goes through everything. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna download, install OSX El Capitan. This is their newest update at the very moment. To download their new software, you're gonna to wanna to go to App Store, store and then go to Updates and then you can see the newest update that they have. In this case, it's El Capitan. Um, really depends, sometimes you wanna use an older update uh, depending on you know how much trouble you wanna go through to install. Uh, this and I just recommend using the newest one because eventually you're gonna upgrade it to it eventually So you might as well use it. The next step is Unibeast and Multibeast. These are two applications you need uh, To download these you also can go to Tony Mac's website and go to their downloads and you can go download them here You can see Unibeast here and Multibeast right here So those are the two places you can download it and it's just on their website Tony Mac's website there and I'll also leave that in the description as well. Next, we're gonna be finding disk utility. Disk utility is kind of hidden in your applications. Uh, it's not invisible, but it's there. It's just sort of hidden. Well, you wanna go into your applications and you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see utilities. In utilities, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and you're gonna find disk utility right here. So go ahead and open that. We don't need this one up. Disk utility is used for lots of things. We're gonna be using this disk utility for is reformatting our USB drive because at the moment it's not really formatted correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and go to your USB drive. So you wanna go ahead and go to partitions and you wanna make sure 16 gig and up. If you use an eight gig, I don't know if an eight gig would work or not. You could, you could try it, but <laughs> I don't think you wanna try it. I think the lowest one you wanna go to is 16. So once you're over, not your USB, but the one above it, you'll see it's the same drive, it's just in partitions. So we're gonna go ahead and go to partitions and we're gonna scroll down and go to one partition. And then we're gonna rename our drive to USB. We're gonna wanna make sure this is a Mac extended journal. Click on that. And then next we're gonna go to options and we're gonna make it a GUI partition table. Make sure that that is selected. Go ahead and hit okay to that. And then hit imply and go ahead and hit partition as well. Alrighty, so that's done right there. So we're gonna go ahead and quit Disk Utility. We don't need Disk Utility anymore. The next step is we're gonna open Unibeast. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Unibeast right here, we're gonna hit continue, 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 continue. Oh my gosh, there's so many continues. Agree. And then we're gonna go ahead and select our main USB stick, which is the one we just formatted. We're gonna continue. And then we're gonna go to El Capitan. You have to have El Capitan installed on your computer for this to actually work. So make sure you have that installed. So we're gonna, we're gonna highlight the El Capitan, and then we're gonna hit continue. You can use U5 boot mode, as in if you have different like motherboards that have BIOSes differently. Um, I don't really know. All I know is legacy boot mode seems to work for me, so I just kind of left it at that. Um, but if it doesn't work for you, you could try U5 boot mode and see if that works. But in this case, I'm just gonna say legacy boot mode. And we're gonna go ahead and click okay or continue to that. Now here is if you had so if you just have any graphics card that's older or kind of depends, um, you have to read through these and see. I happen to know none of these. I don't think I need any of these. It kind of depends. You might need this, you might not. I'm just gonna skip it. I don't think I need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. I'm gonna make sure I have all these. USB, legacy boot mode, good, good there. So we're gonna head in and continue. We're gonna type in our password, secret password there. And we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. So now we're just gonna wait. When this is done installing, this will take a little bit. You'll see there'll be a, like a screen that'll pop up and different things that will happen. Just go ahead and just let this go. Um, and I'll pause the video and we'll come back to it. All right, so the install is done and you see that this interesting USB thing popped up. And you see that the install has a bright check mark. Install successful. Okay, cool, quit that. All right, so now that this, this USB thing is up, we're just gonna take Multibeast, and we're gonna drag it right onto here. So we have Multibeast. Multibeast is nice to have when you're installing. So that's it there. So now we will boot from the drive. Let's take the USB over to our awesome, awesome compactantage. We'll plug it in and we'll boot off the USB drive. So let's go ahead and eject it, eject all. You wanna make sure you eject all, so you eject both the USB and E5. A wire, so we gotta be a little careful. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and disconnect pretty much 
attach all the cables that we can see here. 